Hello, this is Arslan. I'm back again with a new project on assessing heat generation in electric vehicle batteries with different C ratings. On the screen, you can see a sample of an electric vehicle battery with the housing, top cover, batteries inside, and a holder used to hold in place these batteries. Let me show these one by one. Let me remove the top cover. And you can see over here, these are the sample batteries that are enclosed inside the housing and are hold in place together to a steel uh, holders or aluminum holders. Now, the aim of the project is to assess that through this, when we, when we are using batteries with different C ratings, then these C ratings, just like, for example, let me explain through this slide that when we use different C rating, then the discharge and the charge rate of the battery increase or decrease. So high C rating means it will draw more current and it will do a fast charging. So it is usually application, applicable in the cases when we need more power, like in case of electric batteries or drilling, etc. Low C rating is it draws low current because the charging and discharging time is very high and we use it application like in case of laptop charging and discharging where we don't need that current. So battery capacity with different C ratings, yet the more current is drawn. So when more current is drawn, definitely the heat generation losses are there. So these heat generation losses depend on I square current drawn and the resistance inside the battery. So firstly, we need to convert the C rating into the current by multiplying the C rate with the battery capacity. And after that, we need to convert that current into heat generation losses and then into volumetric heat. So for example, you can see over here, it's an 88 mega ampere hour battery and the total discharge time or C rating is 2C in one hour hours. And the total current draws is 1760 milli ampere or 1.67 ampere. So if you want to calculate heat, so it will be Q into 1.76 whole square multiply by R. So resistance in our case, it's around 32 mega ampere. So it will mega ohm, so milli ohm, sorry. So it will be 3.2. So this how you can calculate the Q and then you can convert into volumetric heat generation by dividing it the volume of the batteries to get the overall heat generation. So that's what we are doing. We have generated an electric battery vehicle and then in def we defined the whole assembly. These are the batteries. These are the holders. This is the housing structure and the top cover of the fin. This is the resulting assembly. First of all, you need to define different the volumetric heat generation inside the batteries. Then you need to apply. So it all depends on the most critical the most critical thing is defining the is to define the ambient temperature. So usually the ambient temperature in case of like hot areas, it's around 45 degrees centigrade. So higher the ambient temperature, less will be the uh, temperature gradient, so heat transfer gradient and thus the heat transfer loss will be valid. We are all doing this in a natural conduction. We are not using any sort of air or cooling mechanism and we will be assessing. So there are two parts of this video. In the first part, we will be assessing what is the effect of the heat generation on the resulting temperature on the housing structure. So here are the result of the first case. In this structure, we have checked that U1. So which, if you see the temperature, you can see at the, at the top, it's again 47 degrees centigrade. And at the bottom, let me... This is the heat generation pattern inside the uh, batteries. So heat is generating, its temperature is very high. Usually it's not the case in electric battery vehicles, uh, but by using a cooling mechanism like water or by changing the conduction rate, we can like maintain it to 45 degrees centigrade. We are just doing this so that we can check that if the temp in case if the temperature get risen, then whether it will cause thermal fatigue or not. So this is the resulting heat transfer in the housing structure. We can see at the bottom of the cell, a variable an increase in temperature around to 70 degrees centigrade. Now, the result is imported into another software called FE-SAFE. 
In every step, we will be doing the thermal fatigue analysis. Like, for example, this continuously charge and discharge may cause the temperature gradients or continuous temperature gradient, which can result in thermal fatigue. So, we have imported our results in. Uh, uh, in FE safe and by defining temperature dependent SN curves for different so this is these are the temperature dependent SN curves for aluminium material like 2024 so you can see over here these temperature curves mostly are available but in, if you want to define them you can define them and after that we can see over here that we have defined this thing you need to define the surfaces, the surface finishing material and the algorithm for fatigue analysis. In my case, I'm using normal stress Goodman criteria for fatigue evaluation and remaining everything is same. And if I can, if I can analyze the results, you can see over here, view, view fatigue the log file or view fat, from fatigue view. Uh, you can see the results. We have done the factor of safety immune calculation as well, but the worst cycle repeat is no damage. Like even with the C rating of, we have checked the result with the C rating of 5 under natural conduction. And we came to know that even if you use natural conduction under 5C, still it won't cause any sort of thermal fatigue. So the chances of thermal fatigue in case of high C ratings are usually negligible. So this is one of the, these are the two different outcome of study. One is assessing the heat generation and the second is assessing the thermal fatigue in case of high charging and discharging in case of high C rating batteries. Thank you. In order to download this file, we have to visit my website at aslanmaa.com. And then after visiting the site, we have to scroll to this design and simulation project. Will look something like this and on this there is, this is the project by the title of assessing heat generation and thermal fatigue in electrical vehicle batteries with different C ratings. Now our, this, these are the details of the project in order to purchase this project you can contact me via this contact card already available on my page. You can write your name, email address and a message for a specific project whatever it is. Like for example if this is a project you can write me uh, this name, your name XYZ and XYZ at the rate gmail.com and can send it to me and I'll share it You can also contact me via my WhatsApp and you can have the files. So that's all from my side. I hope I'll come up with more exciting videos in the future. Thank you.